Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am on Bethlehem. Now before we get into the actual video, I just want to showcase this launcher real quick because it looks really nice. Also, you can see all the updates right here on the beginning screen. So you know they are actually working quite a lot on improving the server. So that's very nice. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the rest of the video. Alright, so starting off, there are two things that I want to show before we actually get into the video. Um, as you can see, I am on the server right now. If you go to the achievement tab right here at the bottom right, you can actually check combat elo and what this basically is every day you log in your elo goes up by one percent now what this does is it increases your damage that you do versus npcs for one percent now if you go offline for a day like if you miss out on a day going online you will lose 10 percent of that but if you log on for 100 days you actually do double the damage that you would normally do so i think this is really nice also right here you have a rage bar what this basically does is when you attack um, NPCs your rage bar will go up and once you are at 100% rage you will actually deal one and a half times more damage than you would uh, usually do so that is very nice as well. So maybe some of you have noticed there is also this daily login reward button in the um, bottom right corner there. Uh, and once you click on that you can actually see that daily you can get yourself some mystery box some boss keys some crystal keys and some other stuff so yeah that is really nice after seven days you actually get all this stuff which is a lucky ring of wealth boss fragments a super donator rank ak47 smov which is a really good weapon and seven dragon balls which i'll get more in depth to in a few minutes because they actually have dragon Ball Z on the server which is freaking amazing but um, yeah, in just a moment I'll go uh, get into that. But as you can see, login daily gives you so many rewards and bonuses, so it's definitely worth to actually be playing this server 24-7. Alright, so right now I am at the die zone and my account is temporarily a moderator because this is a feature that will be added really soon and it's a feature about dicing which I haven't seen on any RSPS before but they actually have a roulette table and a slot machine with a custom interface so that looks really nice. I'm going to start off with the slot machine and um, as you can see I just used some one build tickets. Um, let's say we use 21 build tickets. Now if we spin this, we will uh, maybe get ourselves a winning, uh, if we get lucky of course, but I think we will lose because like uh, slot machines are like always losing and stuff, so yeah, as you can see we got three different, so uh, we lost of course. But then going to the roulette table, as you can see this interface looks really nice in my opinion. So um, yeah, let me just uh, add, uh, let's, uh, let's do 200 bill spin, let's have a look, oh we, we just lost 200 bill, damn. Okay, um, let's put 100 yeah let's put 100 on um, black and 100 on odd and 200 on red let's have a look okay so we won 400 basically we lost nothing there let's try again um, we rolled oh no we actually won more because we put on odd as well okay so that's nice as you can see we just won quite a lot of money you can also pick like 5000 and then put it right there or something it's, it's not completely finished yet they are still working on it but as you can see it this looks really sick we just won 600 bill cash so yeah that is very nice and um yeah in total everything will go to your inventory straight away so yeah it's very nice all right so sh next up i'll be showing casing the shades aoe which you can find when you go to teleports to the minigame teleport shades aoe by the way this custom interface is brand new yesterday they still had a different interface so that's very nice and once you click on it you of course click teleport uh, once you get to here, this is actually a multi-zone where you can get yourself some mystery boxes and clue scrolls as you can see on the floor right here. Now um, you can open these up real quick for um, some things. But as you can see these are aggressive so if you just put auto retaliate on, um, you can basically with a AOE weapon. I, right now I have a Mandaros fan imbued which is a AOE weapon. I'll go more in depth with that in a second. But as you can see... You will be killing these uh, really quickly because, yeah, of course, you attack multiple NPCs at once. Now, they don't have a loot table, but it allows for big NPC kills, which you will need for um, for when you want to go to some bosses or other monsters. But they do count for world drops. Now, the world drops are basically drops which are dropped by every single NPC, which are monster fragments, scroll of efficiencies, medical edge, health charts, uh, clue scrolls, and some mystery boxes. But yeah, right here, it's meant for AOE weapons just to get yourself some of these shards and all that good stuff and uh, train mage up really quickly. So yeah, that is very nice, of course. But now that that is done, let's get into Dragon Ball Z. Now, as you can see, there are actually three parts in this. First, you will have to go to the part one, of course. So once you teleport to here, you will actually find yourself uh, one Dragon Ball Z master. 
which will be the um, Goku if I am remember uh, if I remember it correctly. Um, yeah, Son Goku. Now what he basically drops is one Dragon Ball. Now you do need this Dragon Ball to get into the um, next phase. So as you can see, I'll just be killing it real quick. Let me just turn up so oh, I died. But yeah. You just need to kill these, get yourself some Dragon Balls, and then you can actually get to Dragon Ball Z Part 2. So that I'll be doing right now in just a moment, I just need to grab some stuff real quick. So for the Part 2, you do need Dragon Balls, which I just mentioned. Once you have your Dragon Balls, you can actually go teleport to here. And um, once you are here, you can run up to the boss. Now this boss will drop Saiyan armor, which is what I have right now. Um, and basically that is up here. Before I go to the boss itself, let me just show the stats on this, which is super amazing. So yeah, once you get the Saiyan armor, you are super OP. As you can see, you can get the body, legs, gloves and boots. You can also get Dragon Balls here. But yeah, let me just uh, see if I can kill this one real quick. Um, it does do like a ton of damage, so yeah, you... you gotta kill it quite fast here um, I would recommend like um, an AK-47 or something which is better in this case but yeah once you get yourself these Dragon Balls uh, as you can see my um, Rage Bar is also going up so once this is 100% I'll be dealing more damage as I mentioned before but yeah um, this is the part 2 um, Dragon Ball Z you can also go to part 3 for that I'll just uh, tell you guys in a second I just want to kill this thing real quick so I'll be back in just a moment Alright, now for the third part you actually need 7 Dragon Balls, but not just like 7 in your inventory, you can actually combine these to get a stack of 7 Dragon Balls, which you can then use to enter the Dragon Ball Z. Um, so you go to the Titans and then part 3 of Dragon Ball Z, you teleport to there. Now these also um, give you the Super Saiyan armor, but I think the chance is a little bit more common, so that's why you have to uh, pay more. Or, uh, oh no, this drops the Super Saiyan mode correctly. Um, if I take it out of my bank, I should have it somewhere. So give me a second. Alright, so these drop the Super Saiyan mode, which if you transform into it, you um, get more damage and also a drop rate bonus of 10%, which is insane. I think it's like a 30% damage boost, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm actually raping this. So yeah, you can get this as a drop from the Super Saiyan God. So that is very nice, of course. And um, yeah, it's uh, you will be tra uh, transformed into the Super Saiyan mode for one minute. After that, it has a four minute cooldown. And um, once the cooldown is over, you can just use it again and again. So yeah, it's quite overpowered, but you only get it for one minute. Now besides the Dragon Ball Z, they of course have a lot of other titans like the Badara, Bloodlust, Gundram and the Shadow Lord. So I'll go over these just right now. If you actually go to the Madara and you teleport to it, um, oh, you need 300 boss skills to access it, which I don't have right now. I think it's the same with the Shadow Lord and the Gundram, Gundram armor. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, oh, for the regular Shadow Lord, I can access it, actually. Okay, so that's nice. So um, yeah, once you get to here, you can actually examine it. You can see it drops the Shadow Lord armor with a Magma Protector and Dark Lord Blade. You can also get a Pet Mystery Box and like 550 bill cash. And of course, you do get like 150 bill cash for a regular kill. So let me just kill this thing real quick and I'll be back in a second. I just realized I actually have like instances in my bank so I can I can actually showcase uh, these uh, NPCs without having the 300 boss uh, requirement. So as you can see the Gundram right here, it drops the Gundram, uh, Gundam armor. But um, yeah, the Gundam armor is really very nice. I'll showcase that in a second as well. Um, I'll also go to the Madara boss and the Bloodless Shadow Lord boss in just a moment uh, to showcase that to you guys. So moving on, this is the Madara actually. As you can see, it will drop the Madara's fan, which I'll also showcase in a second. That's one of the uh, mage weapons that I was using earlier. Um, but oh damn, the weapon that I'm using right now is Jack's, uh, Jack's Lamp, which is super OP. As you can see, I just killed like the Madara in just a few seconds, which was yeah quite insane. Um, but then we will go to the Bloodlust instance as well. And as you can see, the Bloodlust is right here. And um, you can actually get yourself the Bloodlust armor as well. Let me just use this Keyblade real quick. I want to see if that Keyblade is as OP. Okay, it's a bit less OP, but um, the Jack's Lamp is like super overpowered right now. But yeah, besides that, you also have Shades Instance, Cotizio Instance. Like, you have an instance for every single boss or titan, which is very nice. 
um, but yeah right now I'm just going to showcase the armor real quick so I'll be back in a second so as you can see this is the Gundam outfit now what this Gundam outfit does it doesn't actually give good stats what it does is it gives a bunch of drop rate bonus as you can see for the set I have a 31% drop rate bonus and a 62% double drop chance now you can also upgrade the sets to make it the imbued version uh, I'll show where you can do that in a second but as you can see it looks really cool with the black and yellow and then of course you do get more drop rate bonus and more double drop chance um, after that you do of course have the um, bloodlust armor as you can see right here this does however have really good stats already like it's not the most overpowered but it does look really good and does have good stats which is from the bloodlust boss then you of course have the Shadow Lord boss as well, which is like an upgraded version from the Bloodless armor and it looks really cool with the shadow texture and stuff, as you can see the stats is really nice. And then from the Madara, you can actually get the Madara's Fun, which is an AoE mage weapon. Uh, you do need 99 mage to actually use it, but you can once again imbue this and then it will be a bit better as well. Now where you can actually imbue this is at the home area, right next to the um, banks right here you have the upgrade machine. Now once you open this you can just put an auto, uh, item in, as you can see for this there are no requirements to actually upgrade it. However you do need to keep in mind that you can actually um, lose your item when you try to upgrade it. So if I try this as you can see I failed to upgrade the, the helm. So um, yeah now I lost the helm and um, that kind of sucks. But yeah it is a risk versus reward thing so yeah it's very nice that they actually have it. But you do need to consider risk as well. And this looks really cool. Like you have the dollar sign on the minimap from Donated. And you have the Abyssal Sire right here. Which drops the Abyssal Sire pet and the sponsoring. Now if I take this. The Abyssal Sire pet does give a damage boost. And the sponsoring um, also gives like really good stats. This is the Abyssal sponsoring. Now I just need to find the Abyssal pet. So as you can see the sponsoring is actually quite nice. You see it has decent stats. Like it's not super OP but it is really OP if it's just a ring. Um, now what I'm equipping is the link armor. I haven't actually uh, mentioned this yet but I've been equipping this set the whole video. Um, but you will get this from a reward from a boss layer that is coming out pretty soon. Um, and right now you can see this is the abyssal side pet which will give me an invisible uh, damage boost and stuff so that is very nice. Moving on to the latest zone which is the executive zone. This is of course for the highest donator rank. As you can see right here there is also um, a a uh, dollar scroll shop and a cash shop um, you can get like master tasks and right here there should be some bosses as well like the guardian of hell which will drop donated mystery boxes it looks really sick um, you also have a son goku right here which will drop the um, dragon balls instead of going to the uh, other one every time and right here you have the bethlehem guardian which will drop a bethlehem axe now let me just take this out of my bank real quick you can actually use the bethlehem axe um, for some cool stuff as um, an AFK method actually for skilling. So if you go to mini games, you can actually see AFK tree. Now what this tree actually does is when you teleport to it, you do need however uh, 99 mining to actually use uh, the Bethlehem's axe. You can also talk to Wilfred and buy a bell mug. I also think you need 99 wood cutting for that. But you can actually AFK this blister wood tree and what this actually does, it does give you bills tickets. Now if you have the Bethlehem's Axe or the uh, Bulwark's Axe, you do get more tickets per time you chop. So that's why it's um, better if you have some of these. But yeah, that is actually a really nice AFK money making method. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Also, in like two weeks time, I will be starting a Rex to Riches series on the server where I will be showcasing a bunch of tips for you guys so you know how to start out on the server as well, which will be really nice. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.